Now, typically, I will wear this t-shirt and everything um, when I say this poem. And the t-shirt reads, the devil is a pimp, don't be his hoe. Now, the reason why I wear this shirt is because you are looking at a reformed slur. Now, for many of you all that don't know what a slur is, it's a combination between a slut and a whore. Because I will allow every woman that knocked at my door to enter into my inner sanctuary, not realizing that I was being played by the adversary. You see, at a young age, you planted a seed of deception that resulted into a tree of corruption, and like Eve, I ate. Believing this fallacy, I became stained with the normality of immorality. Now the scars from my moments of pride, they decorate this body like an art gallery. You see, I fell in love with the idea of being in love, only to later realize that the manufacturer sticker read, made in lust. But see, I was willing to put my trust in this lie. Thus, I created a perception of deception without any room for correction. You see, I became so consumed with trying to gain the attention of a woman that I would spend just about every cent on a woman but wouldn't have enough sense left over to make it common. But that's when God spoke to me and said, Son, listen, you reap what you sow, so count the cost before your soul is lost. But see, I couldn't add it because I became an addict to this thing called lust. Diagnosed with the common complex called God. Look at here. Look at here, Lord. I tell you what. You give me what I want now, and we'll eventually talk later. Mm -mm. So, he gave it. And shortly after, I'm sitting on my rooftop, wiping every teardrop, staring at a diamond ring, and in the midst of things, I'm plucking petals off of dandelions, hoping to see the signs of, she loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loved me. And now I am long forgot. I'm more like that poorly... Mm. I am history, or more like that poorly written novel of mystery, because within the first five minutes of the book, you already know the hook. I mean, the voodoo that she do had me knee deep in doo doo, and I was smelling roses. She had me straight consumed like grass to locusts. I mean, it was a witch's bro. You know that hocus pocus? I couldn't even resume my daily living. I mean, my life was so unstable. She tore through my heart like Hurricane Rachel. I was in a mess. I was in the belly of my own hell, and I could not escape until I was willing to admit defeat. So like Jonah, I cried out. And that's when the Lord said, now son, will you let me speak? You see, they that observe lying teeth, mm, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. So understand when I say to thee, in patience possess ye your soul. You see, that's when the light bulb came on. You see, I had sown the seed for a lust for love, only to reap a love for lust. And with this disposition, I set out on a mission to find my wife, holding on to a promise that I told myself that God never intended to keep. You see, I was so focused on the creation and not the creator that I had no clue what the creator was creating for me. I spent countless years trying to gain the attention of a woman, trying to gain the affection of a woman, only to be left with a multitude of questions to where the true answers had no real meaning, no value. But yet I continued to question, hoping that one day it would amount to something, not realizing or understanding that I, I was simply holding on to nothing. 